I'm John. And we are J and N Travels. Today we're going to bring you November 28th, 2018, which was a sea day. This was originally supposed to be the the Castaway, Castaway Key, whatever their private island was, but uh, it got canceled because of the great rough stirrup key weather. Wasn't it great stirrup? Great I don't key? know. Whatever it was, we never made it there, so yeah, we wanted a t-shirt to show it off. <laughs> So we got up at 10 a.m., yeah. had breakfast, and walked around the top deck. We noticed that there was no line at the rope course. Now, one yeah. thing about this cruise, going in the fall, a lot of kids are in school. There's very few kids on board, and the fact that lines are almost non-existent. So all these things, the, the water slides and the rope course, which probably have enormous lines during the peak seasons, were, were nil. So there was no line. It was open. So I decided to give it a try. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> There's no way they, I was going to try They it. did actually have one that was lower, but it was kind of yeah. geared towards little kids, so it might be a little yeah. embarrassing to try. No, um, something that I would never do. This was a lot of fun. Uh, he loved it. They had the plank that everyone knows about that goes over the side of the ship, which I wanted to do and ring the bell, but it was closed. I'm not sure if it was because it was a little windy or they just didn't open it up. But hopefully next time I do the course, it will be open. Unfortunately, there was not another next time. It's like everything else. You say you're going to do it later on, mm. and there's just so much to do on the ship, you end up not getting back to it. But at least I got to try it. And I got some really good video of it. She did, which you'll see at the end of this. Yep. To my surprise, the rope course is more intimidating than I thought it would be. I thought it would just be very easy. and, and uh, But it was a little intimidating, which added to the adrenaline rush and the excitement. After the rope course, we played some miniature golf. Yeah, which, that was fun. It, which we did. Maybe three, four times. Yeah, I liked miniature golf. That was fun. It was a nice little break. We would just yeah. go over and play little games of miniature golf every now and then. Yeah. They also had a bocce course on there, which did seem to be used. Thing. Well, it seemed to be used almost the whole oh. every time we walked by it. So we never got to, but yeah. that'd be something for another trip. Mm -hmm. um, so then we went over to the pool, and for some weird reason, even though we had had three cooler days um, coming down. The water in the pool was ex was warm. It was yeah, extremely warm. It was nice. And there were no crowds. Uh, Love and, it. No crowds. Which is another thing that you run into with with people on these cruises. Usually the pools are, are loaded, but it was no there were no crowds. It was a so, good time of year to go. So we went in the pool and just floated around and and relaxed in the pool for quite mm -hmm. a while. Um, and then we decided to try the water slide, which oh, love the slide. Which. Uh, uh, also had no lines. Yeah, uh, that we was went fun. Down the slide three times, got right off, went back to the top, went down three times. It was just as good as any that you would find on land. I it was long it. and it had special effects. Yep. Um, I also think maybe at the end of this video, there's some uh, video of us going through the slides, but that was uh, yeah. a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, we tried riding the body slide, which is um, the one you see sometimes on the smallest ships, but I think it's made for much lighter. Um, <laughs> sliders because I had to squidgy <laughs> down, is that the term? Yeah. Scoop down the, the whole stuck. slide, what get to the bottom. What he's trying to say is he got stuck. <laughs> so that was, we didn't try that one again. Yeah. Um, after the uh, slides, we went over to H2O, which is in, uh, during the day is an all adult area. They have a couple hot tubs there and a yeah. bar and a sun deck and we just, and they have a great area that it looks like um, a waterfall and take rocks and you can go in to cool down if it's a hot day. Yeah. Um, and we spent some time there, and relaxing there, until we get hungry. We get hungry, we went back to our cabin and changed, and then went to the Garden Cafe for lunch. On our way back from the uh, from the lunch, we bumped into our friends from Montreal. After conversation with a short conversation with them, they offered us their uh, two bottles of champagne to add to our. Yeah, they had the drink package, so and they weren't going to drink the champagne, so they asked us if we wanted it, and I'm like, yeah. I like those mimosas, so bring it on. <laughs> so we made a, a plans with them to meet up at, by the elevators at 4 o'clock, uh, which we did. And um, it was nice because we spent well over an hour just talking chatting. about stuff. Yeah, yeah, chatting about stuff. They're nice people. And um, champagne, of course, came in handy, as Nancy said, for her mimosas for the cruise. Um, we had dinner and then went to the 80s dance party for about an hour and then went to bed. Yeah, nice day. Yeah, so it was a very nice sea day, even though we didn't get to go to the private island. <laughs> um, the weather was still a little cool and very sunny, and our miles walked that day were 5.7. That was a good day all in all. So remember, guys, stay young and have fun.